Greg Tabone here, gregtabone.com. So today we're going to start on the first string, reading music on the guitar, and I'm going to take you through uh, an exercise that I just created on the first string, and it has the first string notes, and we're going to deal with three notes and start slowly, and I'm going to post the MP3 of this uh, music, and I'm going to post a PDF so you can follow along. But uh, in the video here, we're going to do the first string, and I'm going to teach you the notes on the staff and how they relate to the guitar. So. Here are the notes on the first string. Open is E, first finger is F, and third finger is G, and again we play on the corresponding fret. So here we go. The open E, first finger is F, first finger on the first fret, just behind the fret, third finger on G, and once again we're playing all the notes down. So if you look at bar one on our exercise sheet, we have a whole note which is four beats and we're going to play the top space of the staff is E, the top line of the staff is F and the space above the staff is a G and it's going to sound like this, we count ourselves into four, one, two, three, four, E open, two, three, four, F, one, two, three, four, and third finger G. So practice that over, uh, we move to bar four and Bar four has half notes, and in four four time, half notes get two beats each. So we're gonna try them with uh, the same three notes with half notes, so it's gonna be E, and then we're gonna count two after, so one always comes on the note, so it's gonna be E, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the first two uh, lines together will be G, two, three, four, then half notes. Okay, the third line on the music is uh, starting at bar seven. Uh, so each block of notes is called a bar. We have quarter notes here, and we're gonna play four quarter notes, E's, F's, and G's. So it can start with me. One, two, three, four, E, E, E. You can slow down the tempo as well and play a little slower so it could be played like this. First finger, make sure you're on the tip of your finger. Third finger, make sure you're on the tip. That brings us to line 10. So measure 10 and what I've indicated here as I've mentioned in my other videos is these are eighth notes. Beat one will be picked down the and beat is up, beat two is down, the and beat is up, beat three is down, the and beat is up, the beat four is down, and the and beat is up. So it'll be like this. Then first finger F, and then G. So let's just go back to the beginning. So we'll start off with that uh, from bar one. Seven, one, two, three, four, F, and G, and bar 10, so bar 13 on there, uh, now I've got you saying the notes without the note names being shown, so on the sheet I actually have the note names on the notes uh, so you can see them, now we're going to take the note names off. See if you can try them. We're going to play a little slower at bar 13, and uh, we will call out the name of the notes as we play. So I want you to learn where the notes are on the staff and how it corresponds to the guitar. So bar 13. Bar 
seven. Bar 19, we're going to make it a little trickier, uh, basically not trickier, but just taking off the note names and the fingering. I want you to use the proper fingering for the notes, and we'll try bar 19. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, mix them up a little bit there. Let's try bar 26. Two, three, four, G, down, up, down. So a little bit of a trick in there on that uh, measure with the eighth notes. Uh, the, the eighth notes together, two eighth notes, a quarter note will be down, up, down, down, up, down. And then when you have four eighth notes again, back to the regular down, up, down, up. Very, very important that you pick properly because once we get to advanced music, the syncopation notes where when you play an accents on the off beats, if you can read music and pick on the off beats when the rhythms get really complicated it'll help you always stay in tune and i found that was a secret that i had over a lot of guitar players uh, as they move forward so let's move on to the line 33 bar 33 Very good. can slow that down again. You don't have to play it as fast as I'm doing it right now, but uh, see if you can do it without, the, uh, um, without looking at uh, any of the fingering or the notes. Just try and look at the music and not look at your hands at all. Get your position with your pick and your fingers, and uh, you should move, move along quite quickly with that. Uh, the last line I have here starts at bar 39. I'm kind of mixing it up mostly eighth notes, and watch the picking. So it's going to be like this. One, two, three, so there you have it, the, the quick lesson on just the first string, E, F, and G. I'm going to play it right from the beginning and play all the measures together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Bar four. Bar seven. Bar ten.
there you have it. That's the first string notes. And if you practice that over and over and you get good at sight reading those three notes on the first string, you will be uh, in well prepared to move forward. We're going to go through all the strings in my videos and we're going to mix them up. And once we've conquered open, open position, I'm going to actually move up the guitar neck to different positions all the way up. And we'll talk about which keys play best um, when you're sight reading music and where to move on the, on the uh, guitar as you move forward. So once again, this was just a quick video to get you started on the guitar. And as we add more strings, it will be a little bit longer. Please uh, go to gregtabone.com and you can find these uh, MP3 of what I just played and as well the sheet music for free.